Welcome to the Storytelling with Data channel. If you're new here, we teach people how to make graphs that make sense. My name is Alex. I'm a data storyteller on the team, and I'm going to share with you my number one tip for creating better graphs. So if you want to start impressing your audience and hopefully drive deeper understanding, stay tuned. Now you've probably seen a graph or two like this. You may have even created a graph like this. This shows us an organization's accounts payable across several different vendors at a specific point in time. If you had to ask me, I'd say this graph is totally fine. This graph is easy to read. It's also cleanly designed. I can appreciate some of the decisions that went into formatting this chart. For example, the title is left aligned, which creates these nice clean lines to really frame out the data. I also love that because there are so many data labels, the original creator opted to remove the horizontal X axis. They also went ahead and moved those labels directly inside the bars. Minor things, but ultimately create less visual clutter on the graph. Speaking of visual clutter, there really isn't any. And that's because the creator took the time to format this chart. They removed things like borders, grid lines, all of these things that our tools tend to add by default. And I should just mention, that if you want to learn more about these minor design decisions that go into formatting a graph, check out this video where we cover 10 different tips to create better visuals. All right, let's head back to the graph. Now, when I look at this chart, my eyes are drawn to that biggest bar. I can see that Microsoft is the vendor with the highest accounts payable. I can also see how incrementally larger it is than some of the other vendors. But what I'm not sure of is whether or not this is the right thing for me to take away when I look at this graph. I don't have any visual cues. I don't have any text to tell me whether or not this is the purpose. This is the reason somebody has put this graph in front of me. So let's go ahead and change that. So this is where my number one tip comes into play. Make it easy on your audience by using color sparingly and using words wisely. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Alex, wait a second. That was two tips, and I get that, that's fair. But really, it's one tip because it is the pairing of these two strategies that makes the magic happen. Let's actually go ahead and take a look. So I'm gonna make one quick change. I'm gonna put the takeaway in words directly near the graph. Microsoft, the largest vendor. So now when my audience looks at this graph, they have a sense of what they're meant to see. And then I'm gonna pair that pithy takeaway title with sparing use of color. So now when my audience looks at this graph, they know what they're meant to see and without thinking, they can quickly find evidence of that statement. Now I've shown you one potential takeaway here, but we could also use this power pairing of color and words to emphasize other insights in this graph. For example, I could draw your attention to the vendors with the lowest accounts payable. I could also clarify that 60% of accounts payable comes from these five vendors. And if I wanted to further emphasize those vendors that largely contribute, I might even play with the intensity of color. So that's it. That's my number one tip. And you can use this regardless of the chart type you are using, regardless of the tool that you are working in. Best part of all of this is that it only takes a few moments. Take your graph, put a text box right near it, put those words directly near the graph, and then make one simple change. Play with your use of color. That way your audience's eyes are drawn to the evidence that supports the takeaway that you want to get across. Now, if you want to learn more about crafting pithy takeaway titles, or even the use of color in data visualization, I put some resources down in the description box below. Speaking of color, this is a massive topic that there's no way we can cover in just a quick five minute video like this. So if you wanna dive deeper into the world of color, I recommend you check out our dedicated video to using color in your data visualizations. Be sure to like this video if you found it helpful. I'm also curious, what is your number one tip when you create a graph? Bonus points if it's also quick to implement. So why don't you go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. My name is Alex, and I'll see you next time.